Hey, what's going on? It is yours truly, Taz Daddy. Of course, it is Tuesday. Now, normally I do Motivational Mondays, but in observance of the Dr. Martin Luther King holiday, I was actually speaking to a bunch of kids and adults at the Boys and Girls Club in uh, Chester, PA. It was a great crowd, had a wonderful time, and uh, I hope that everybody enjoyed and made the most of uh, Martin Luther King Day of service, and um, I hope that you are doing what you need to do in order to keep the dream alive. Now, having said that, I need to talk to you directly. Um, today's video is about knowing who you are. When you know who you are, what haters say doesn't matter. Now, I need to go over a few things. First and foremost, um, I don't believe that the average person has haters. I believe the average person has people who just don't flip and like them. That's just real. You know, um, haters are people who want what you have but don't really have a means of getting it. Um, if, in fact, uh, you do have haters, then, well, congratulations. You're doing what you need to do because nobody wants anybody uh, who's not doing anything. Nobody ever has a has a negative word to say about somebody who's not doing anything. You know, it's just like, mm, yeah, he's a loser. Keep it a moving. Mm. Good tea, by the way. Very good tea. But I digress. Um, many times, when you don't know who it is that you are and what it is that you're trying to do in this world, what tends to happen is that people can dictate to you what it is and who it is that you are. Um, and they can make you jump. Now, um, it is very easy to make someone who is insecure and does not know who they are jump and do whatever you want to do. All you have to do is say something that they don't like or say something that uh, is against whatever it is that they believe. And then all of a sudden, you'll see them, oh, I don't, I don't do this. And, and you think you're the, you and I don't. And, he, and, and they sound like a kid, a fat kid running up and down. She's like, <laughs> You and I, and you and I, and I don't, and you. Really, son? Really? I am going to tell you something. When you allow other people's opinions of you uh, to make you move in a certain way, they own you. You are their puppet. You are their punk. You are their, I hate to say it, bitch. You're their bitch. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be anybody's bitch. That's why nobody makes me jump. Uh, I deal with people on a consistent basis who have this to say about me and that to say about me, but at the end of the day, does it change anything? Does it change the fact that Common Sense Ain't Common will be available in bookstores everywhere, including iPad and Kindle and uh, Nook on March 15th? Oh, it surely doesn't. Does it change the fact that I speak to literally thousands of people uh, each and every month uh, with motivational speaking and seminars and things of that nature and yet uh, thousands more on YouTube and Facebook? Does it change the fact that I get paid to talk? Sometimes I get paid to talk trash. Sometimes I get paid to tell jokes. Sometimes I get paid, and I love this. I love, love, love this. I get paid to give people some uplifting and encouraging words. It doesn't change any of that. Your opinions of me don't cause me to do anything. Because a hater's opinion is just that. Because if they could do what I do, there'd be no need for me. And that's what you have to remember. Somebody is always going to knock what you do. Somebody's always going to have something to say. It's do you choose to react to the point where you become their bitch? You know, do you, do you email everybody and fuss about it? Do you sit around and cry about it? Do you, do you talk about it all the time on the phone? Um, you shouldn't because that's, that's corny. And you are their puppet. Sometimes it's fun. Like, if you know somebody who's that weak-minded, say something that's going to piss them off and watch how they sit around and talk about what you said. 
Just saying, you know, it's winter and sometimes the roads are icy. You need something fun to do. Do it. And watch how easy it is to pull the strings of a puppet. Are you going to be a puppet? Or are you going to be the one pulling the strings? That is the choice you have to make. A um, couple of things I want to let you guys know. Uh, number one, um, the book, Common Sense Ain't Common, is still available for pre-order at the books tab at TazDaddy.com. It will be out March 15th. Uh, thank you to everybody, and I do mean everybody, who pre-ordered the book. I really appreciate it, and I hope and pray that you love it as much as uh I love writing it. And let me tell you something. I love writing it, but I hated writing it. It just, like, as soon as I thought I was done, there was just so much more to do. But, you know, what are you going to do? So please pre-order that. Also, if you're following the Supreme Seminar Series, uh, also available um, at the Seminars tab at TazDaddy.com. Each seminar is about 10 bucks, So you can uh, get that and find out how you can uh, make more money and the truth behind networking. Because networking, as it's being taught to you, is a scam and I'm telling you what the real deal is behind networking so make sure you check that out and also I'm doing a comedy cruise in September you can get all the information at the cruise tab at tazdaddy.com yeah some people have apps I got tabs Taz got tabs there's a tab for that damn it that's how we do it look get at me always on facebook.com slash tazdaddy show or on twitter at tazdaddy that's t-a-z-z d-a-d-d-y and for all my youtubers Please comment, please rate, and please subscribe if you like it. If you didn't like it, just please leave a comment. I really appreciate you, and I uh, thank you so much for everything that you do. I hope that uh, this motivates you and gets you in the right frame of mind because if people are taking that much time to talk about you and you take even more time to respond, they are controlling you. Don't be a puppet. I'm just saying. Peace.